Perno Ricard Winemakers New Zealand was the wine industry innovation category winner in the 2015 Cawthron Marlborough Environment Awards. The company follows an integrated lean management program aimed at sustainable and efficient use of resources across its winery, vineyards, bottling plant and visitor experiences. Pinot Ricard in New Zealand is predominantly growing grapes through the company and making them into wine and taking it right through the supply chain to our global customers. We've grown grapes around the whole Marlborough region. We've got some grapes growing out of the Waipara region in northern Canterbury. Those grapes uh, come in and get processed into our Marlborough winery, which is about 35,000 tonne. And then in the Hawke's Bay, we've got a 5,000 tonne winery at Church Road. Uh, we've got a lot of grapes growing there. Pinot Rico Winemakers has recently won the Cawthron uh, Marlborough Environmental Award, and I guess it is recognition for the work that our wider team have been doing over the last few years. It reflects diversity in some of the work that we're doing, from the vineyards to the winery and, and again through to packaging and supply chain. Environmental sustainability is something that's very important to us and it's part of our way of working. Over the growing period we're obviously consuming a lot of water so we want to be a lot smarter about how we consume that water. And then over the harvest period there's a lot of solid waste that is generated through the winemaking process and so we're wanting to reuse the solid waste in terms of mark and composting that mark and also being more effective at being able to separate our solids from our wine through the process and being more efficient about doing that. The New Zealand wine brand is a, is a green brand and we need to make sure as New Zealand winemakers that we are proactive in managing our environment and that we are continuously improving uh, our environmental footprint on an ongoing basis. The driver for the work that we're doing was to improve our environmental footprint but the result is that we are commercially competitive and more socially sustainable as well. Our greenhouse gas emissions has reduced by 30% in the last three years and that's a direct result of the work that we've been doing. Yes, it does have a commercial impact and a commercial benefit for the business and that would be in the form of millions of dollars per annum. Pernod Ricard globally has measures in place to ensure that its affiliates are socially responsible, environmentally responsible, and so yeah, this is uh, group best practice, and it's something that Pernod Ricard has a strong holding on. We're consistently trying to find ways to reduce wine loss, and uh, it would be nice one day to be able to uh, leave our grape solids in the vineyard and not have to bring them into the winery, and that's that's a. Uh, a journey that we're on at the moment, which is probably another five or ten years of the way, but it's something that we're working on. This machine is one of the initiatives that we have to clarify our wine uh, to reduce solids. It's essentially a Dynamos crossbow filter and it removes high solids from our wine. The important thing about this process is, is that it protects the wine quality. We're able to maintain wine quality as it goes through the process. The old system was very oxidative. At times we would need to downgrade our wine and we incurred wine loss through the process, as well as incurring solid waste. This doesn't have a solid waste stream and we're not incurring wine loss. So what we're seeing here is some uh, leaves that have been formed at, uh, during the wine fermentation process and this is what's left in the bottom of the tank. The wine inside this glass is actually of, of good quality. Uh, what, what we want to do is separate the solids from it and so this is the outcome of, of the process. The other piece of technology that we've invested in is a decanter which uses centrifugal force to separate solids from grape juice. The sludge that comes out of the machine is composted and returned back into the environment. Mark is the grape skins and seeds that come off the grapes and obviously they make up a significant proportion of the solid waste that comes through the winery. Uh, at the moment we're composting and returning that back into the vineyards. It's reduced our solid waste by 85% over the last four years. We run uh, lean philosophies within this business and lean fundamentally is about identifying and reducing uh, loss and waste within our processes. Uh, our people are our most important asset and they are specialists in their field so once they've identified the loss and waste within their areas of expertise we then encourage and empower them to um, find opportunities to improve those processes. And they're highly engaged individuals and my job as a leader is really just to empower and resource and skill that team to go out there and, and achieve what they've achieved and the awards recognition of the hard work that they've done. 
We're here right now at the iconic Brancot Estate Vineyards where the first Sauvignon Blanc grapes were planted in 1973 in Marlborough. So one of the initiatives that we're running here at Brancot Estate is we've got soil moisture sensors. We are monitoring moisture levels in the soil, which we can then optimise irrigation and uh, conserve water as much as possible. There's a series of native plantings around here on the vineyard and we've got a cycleway that runs through our vineyards as well so that we can share you know, this beautiful environment with the public. Some of the other initiatives that we're running, we've got an organics program running on about 150 hectares of vineyard. We've got uh, responsible and sustainable use of herbicides and pesticides. And then we've got composting running on some of our vineyard footprint. I think as a team we're very happy with the progress that we've made. Uh, this is a journey that we're on and we see, certainly see opportunities to improve what we're doing. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.